We're here today with Wharton accounting professor Frank Joe, who's going to talk to us about some of his recent research. Frank, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. And could you first give us kind of a short summary of the paper, what question you were trying to answer? Okay, so in my job market paper, I basically look at how does investor learning affect firms voluntary disclosure decisions. And by voluntary disclosure decision, I mean management annual earnings forecast decisions. We know that management annual earnings forecast are very prevalent, so it's an important question to ask, what are the forces that shape management earnings forecast decisions? And empirically, there is a very interesting phenomenon, which is that earnings forecast decisions tend to be sticky over time. And I basically build a model trying to explain why this thickness occurs and try to empirically quantify this mechanism that I propose. And the mechanism is basically investor learning about unknown firm profitability. We know that investors, they don't know everything, so it's a reasonable assumption that investors, they don't know firm profitability. And just by taking this simple premise, I show that investor learning leads to sticky disclosure incentives. And the mechanism is really simple. Basically, investors, they have their prior information. Say that you invest in Apple, and you think that Apple is a pretty good firm. Just by observing that Apple's performance drops a little bit in one time, doesn't mean that Apple is a bad firm for you. So in other words, investors' beliefs are sticky over time. And I show that investors' beliefs, in turn, affect managers' voluntary disclosure decisions. And that would, in turn, lead to sticky disclosure incentives. And my structural estimation shows that investor learning leads to very sticky disclosure incentives, so that there is 10% increase in the likelihood of disclosure in one year caused by investor learning. That would in turn lead to about 10% increase in the likelihood of disclosure in the next year. So basically, I mean, for investors, it's the more they learn, the more they kind of confirm their beliefs about yeah. the firm. Yeah. And then the more they've confirmed their beliefs, the more the firm wants to disclose information about itself. Okay, so uh, the, f the effect of the investor's beliefs on firm disclosure choice depends on whether the beliefs are optimistic or pessimistic. Mm -hmm. If investors believe they're optimistic relative to actual firm profitability, and that in turn leaves less room for the manager to convey good news, and therefore the disclosure probability would go down. And basically this research shows that it's important for the manager to take into account where investors' beliefs are when they, the manager decides whether to disclose the information or not. So basically to be strategic about disclosure versus where investors yeah. are with the firm at that exactly. given time. Yeah. And so sort of kind of going further with that, I mean, if I'm a firm or if I'm an investor, mm -hmm. how could I practically apply this research either to my firm decisions or how I act, my activity as an investor? Okay, so this research is more from the manager's perspective to tell the manager to pay attention to where investors are. And often empirically we see that, you know, uh, some firms release some information, which is not like a big surprise, but there's a very large market reaction versus other times when man like the manager re released some information that is um, like basically you know, there's a very large surprise, but there's very little stock price movements. And my research basically tells the manager to pay attention to where investors' beliefs are and how uncertain they are, investors are about their beliefs when manager decides whether to disclose information or not. Now, are there key indicators in terms of where what investors' beliefs are at any given time? And is it just stock price? Or are there other things that they would be looking at to kind of gauge that? Uh, so the key component would be the stock price relative to what the manager, he or herself, believes where the firm fundamentals are. Yeah, so that's the key indicator. The manager knows about the company, but the investor, they don't know. So they have some valuation about the firm, but the manager probably knows whether you know, my firm is good or not. So based on that, that's the key indicator. Uh, of investors' beliefs. And of course, in my research, I structurally, so using a model to bike out investors' beliefs, so potentially my model can be useful because I show that the model actually fits the data pretty well. Yeah. Great. And so what, what's next for this research? How are you going to follow this up? Uh, so currently I have a working paper on how investors process information that is withheld from them. About 50% of the time, management does not issue earnings guidance. And typically when this happens, it indicates bad news. And the investor kind of know it's bad news, but surprisingly, what the investor, when the investor priced the firm, it actually overprices it. 
And when the earnings are announced, there's a subsequent decline in firm value. So this is potentially both important to investors and to managers. Because on the one hand, manager, they're supposed to inform investors about what's going on, or the manager could strategically take advantage of investors' inability to process the lack of disclosure. And from the investor's perspective, they need to understand what's the implication of firm's strategic decisions. In this case, it's disclosure choice. And firm makes all kinds of strategic decisions. And it's probably true that the investor have a hard time understanding them too. So this is the follow-up research. Great, Frank, thanks for being with us today. Okay, thank you.